share this video right now, like this video right now, put it on somebody's wall. Tell everyone, my restoration has started. Something the enemy has stolen, now restoration is here. I am restored. I am restored in the name of Jesus. Make that declaration. I am restored. This is my month of restoration. I'm having my rest on every side. Restoration has come. Victory has come. Open door has come. Somebody declaring no more shame in my life. No more ridicule. In the mighty name of Jesus. Everything I lay my end upon. Prosper, blossom, increase. In the mighty name of Jesus. Joy unspeakable, full of glory. That's my heritage. That's my portion. In the mighty name of Jesus. I like you to rejoice and make that declaration continually. I am restored. Whatever the enemy has stolen in my life, I declare restoration this evening. I'm restored. The glory of God in my life has been restored. The favor of God in my life has been restored. I am restored. No more shame. No more ridicule. No more pain. In the mighty name of Jesus. I'm going to read the anchor scripture, Joel chapter 2, from verse 25. Joel chapter 2, I'm going to read 49 up to 27. This is a prophetic service. Get set to receive that which is yours. In your home, there will be a miracle. In your office, there will be a miracle. In your car, there will be a miracle. Anywhere you are, you are going to receive testimony. The word of God is going to transform your life. I want you to get set. Let people around you know you are in a prayer mode right now. You are, you are in to receive the blessings of the Lord. Joel chapter 2, I read from verse 25. Joel 2 from verse 25. I will restore to you the year the locust has eaten, the canker worm, the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, and my great army that I sent among you. Get ready for restoration. I will restore to you the years the locusts had eaten. The canker worm, the caterpillar, the palmer worm, and my great army that I send among you. 26 says, and you will eat in plenty. But before we go into 26, let's just analyze 25. I will restore to you the years the locusts had eaten. I speak to your life this month of June, there's restoration for you. There's restoration in your life. There's restoration in your destiny. Whatever the enemy has stolen, this is your season of restoration. The Lord himself said, I will restore. I will restore. The years the locust has eaten. It is God's restoration, not man's restoration. God says, I will restore. When God restores, Things take shape. The glory of God is upon your life. And you cannot compare God's restoration with man's restoration. Verse 25, Joel chapter 2, verse 25 says, I will restore the years the locust has eaten. God is promising you this evening restoration. Promising your destiny restoration. I will restore the years the locust has eaten. This is your month of restoration. The Lord has promised restoration. It's not man's restoration. If it's man, you will still find fault here and there. Once it's God doing the restoration, it's going to be clinical, very neat. It's going to be perfect. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be, it's going to be something you can't even find fault. So the first thing I like to establish in Joel chapter 2, 25 is God has promised you restoration. I didn't promise it. This is not my word. I speak as a prophet. I speak as a servant of God. But I bring you the word of the Lord tonight. It's your month and your season of restoration. It's going to span beyond one month for somebody. You're going to enter into a season of recovery. After June, you will still be getting back the things the enemy has stolen. The years the locusts had eaten. The caterpillar, the palm worm. And he said, and my great army that I sent among you. I declare one more time to you, this is your month of restoration. This is your season of restoration. Whatever the enemy has stolen, get set. Restoration is coming. God is going to undo the everybody. God is going to restore the years the locusts had eaten, the caterpillar, the palmer one. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. So, from that scripture, it is not man's restoration, but God promised restoration. This is your month of Jehovah restoration. This is your month of his restoration. It's not man's restoration. It's not Joseph's restoration. It's God's restoration. And when God restores, it's perfect. When God restores, it's clinical. When God restores, it's neat. When God restores, everything takes shape. Man restoration will have command. In fact, the only thing I can lack in man restoration too is the insurance policy that we all take. The law that governs insurance is the law of restoration. When you take an insurance policy, say on your car, and they say to you, if your car is stolen, if there's a damage on your car, we're going to restore you. Man only promised to restore you to your former position. We will restore you to the place you were before the law, the loss. That is the law of insurance. We will restore your car. If, the, if your car is stolen, we give you another car. But what men don't know, most of the time, embedded in the insurance law is what the insurance company called SS Clause. The SS Clause law says that, okay, your car is worth 10 million. We want to give you a check for 10 million to go buy your car, but sorry, we have to deduct some expenses, the claim expenses, administrative expenses. They call it excess clause. And some people even buy the excess clause. You have to pay for the excess clause for you to get 100% claim that you deserved. That is man's restoration. Man restoration, there is always the small print. Man's restoration, there is always something that you need to buy back. Can you imagine? After paying insurance claim, you have to, all uh, uh, the premium, you have to also pay, buy the excess clause for you to be restored 100%. And listen, the insurance company don't even tell you about inflation. The car you insure for 10 million at the beginning of the year, by middle of the year when the peril happened, may be worth 12 million. The asset you insure for 10 million in January by July may be worth 13 million. But they can only give you the summer short, which is 10 million. That is what you pay premium on. So you can be restored by that insurance policy to your original state. That is man restoration for you. Man restoration will promise you, we will restore you, but it's never the same. But when God says, I will restore. Are you reading Joel 2, 25 with me this evening at all? The Lord said, I will restore to you the years the locusts had eaten. When God promised restoration, is total, is full, is better than your former position. Did you get that? When God promised restoration, is total, is in full, and it's better than your former restoration. So it's not like the insurance policy. The insurance policy, they tell you, will restore you to where you were before the damage, before the incident, before the peril. But God is saying, when I promise restoration, I want to take you to a position better than what you lost. I want to take you to a position better than before the damage. And that's what God has promised somebody this evening. That's what God is promising you. He's going to restore whatever the enemy has taken from you. The enemy thought it for evil. But now look at how God has promoted your Joseph. The enemy thought he sold you into slavery. But look at God's restoration working in your life. Somebody listening to me this, tonight, this is going to be the best month in the year 2020. Up to now. July will certainly be better than June. But June is going to be your best month ever. In the name of Jesus, something great is coming your way. Today I file VAT for one of my clients who could not file his VAT since the COVID-19 problem started. And I tried to help them with their filing today. And I saw the turnover in January, the turnover in February, the turnover in March. The turnover in April, can I shock you? 
January when there was no COVID-19, the turnover in April was three times the turnover of January. What happened? In the midst, because this particular client is selling a product that became is food. She's selling food item. Now, food item became something that every state government wants to buy. Every organization is doing CSR and they are supplying to their state government. Everybody went to patronize. So in the midst of COVID-19, that organization was moving up. When men say there is a casting down, you will be shouting there was a lifting up. April when most organizations shut down three times. Three times the position of January when there was no problem. I tell somebody in this season, the Lord said, I will restore. Glory is coming into your life. Favor is coming into your life. Joy is coming into your life. Joy unspeakable, full of glory is coming into your life. The Lord says, I'm going to restore. And the point here is that it's going to restore in total. It's going to restore in full. It's going to be better than the position you were before the peril happened. Before the danger happened. Is somebody receiving that tonight? I'd like you to shout it and put it in the comment box. I receive it. It's a total restoration. It's a complete restoration. It's a position better than the position you were before COVID-19. Before the challenge. Somebody this month of June, get ready for something great. Something better than May. Something better than April. Better than January. Better than 2019 put together. This month of June is your month of restoration in the mighty name of Jesus. So God's restoration is always better. God's restoration is always total. God's restoration is always in full. It's not like man's restoration. You can't compare the restoration of God with the restoration of man. And I'm going to give you five scenarios where the restoration of God is better than the position you were before the peril. God is going to restore you in total, in full. And your position is going to be a better position. Leviticus chapter 6 will be my first case study to show you how God restoration can be better than your position. Maybe somebody lost something precious. Customers. You lost an asset. You are on contract. And they say your services are no longer required. Get ready this month of June. The Lord is going to give you something better. He's going to give you something glorious. In the mighty name of Jesus. Leviticus chapter 6 from verse 4. Leviticus chapter 6. I'm going to read verse 4 and 5. Then it shall be, because he has sinned and is guilty, that he shall restore that which he took violently away, or the things which he had deceitly gotten, or that which was delivered him to keep, or lost things which he found. And verse 5, my emphasis. Or all that about which he had sworn forcefully, he shall even restore it in the principal. Look at it now. Anything he has taken violently, the thing he, he took forcefully, the Bible says here, he will return the principal, he will restore the principal, and the fifth part more thereunto, and give it unto him to whom it pertained in the day of his trespass offering. What is this scripture saying? You have taken anything forcefully. You have taken anything violently. He said, restore the principal. That is 100%. And he said, you will also give a fifth thereof. This is powerful. So you are restoring 100% plus 20%. That's 120%. You will restore the 100% and the fifth thereof. That's 120%. What is this scripture saying? Somebody has stolen your thing. He took your thing forcefully. He took your thing. And the Bible says he swore deceitfully. He swore forcefully. He took it violently. That is like a thief taking somebody's thing. I said, right now the person will be asked to return it. He will return the principal. That is what he has stolen. Plus a fifth, that is 20%. That is 120%. The 
The man is already is, 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 is sad and say, oh, I have lost this, I have lost that. And God is saying, no, don't worry. 120% is coming. Case study one. Case study number two. Job chapter 42, verse 10. Job 42, verse 10. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friend. And the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Powerful. Job, you had five cars, he gave him double. Twice. He didn't give Job back the five, which is 100% restoration. He gave him twice. That is 200%. So, Leviticus, we saw 120%. In Job, we saw 200%. Somebody saying, Amen, receive that double portion. The Lord gave Job double what he lost. Somebody, double what you lost is coming. In this month of restoration, if your faith can carry it, you are moving from 120% to 200%. Who is that person here tonight? 200% is coming. 200% recovery. 200% increase. 200% joy. 200% abundance. 200% open door. Open door like you have never seen before. Double. Double what you have lost. Double increase. Double abundance. Double joy. Double celebration. In the mighty name of Jesus. And that scripture says, Job got twice as much as he lost before. When God restores, it's better than your former position. It's better than the position before the peril. Job got 200%, double. Somebody shout, I received double. For your shame tonight, you are receiving double. Instead of disgrace, you are receiving double portion of prosperity and everlasting joy. In your life, in your family, no more shame. No more reproach. No more sadness. No more ridicule. Double, double, double. Everything becomes double for you. Increase, abundance, joy, celebration in the name of Jesus. Case study number three. In this case study number three, I'm going to read a scripture. I'm going to bring case study three and four there. We have seen 120% restoration. We have seen 200% restoration. Now let's see the next one. Exodus 22. Exodus 22 Verse 1, and I'm going to bring two from there. Exodus 22, verse 1. If a man shall steal an ox, mark the word ox, or a sheep, so two instances. That's why I'm bringing two things here. He stole ox, ox is a bigger animal. He stole a sheep, sheep is not as big as the ox, and kill it or sell it. The Bible says, when we catch that man, he shall restore five oxen. For an us. He stole one. He said he restored 500%. And four sheep for a sheep. Powerful revelation from this scripture. From this scripture, if you stole an ox, he said restore 500%. I mean, from this scripture, 500, 500% what you have stolen. He said he shall restore five ox for an ox. Five oxen for an ox. So 500%. But if you stole a sheep, you will restore four sheep for a sheep. So that's 400%. So from this scripture, you can see case study number three, 400%. You can see 500%. We have seen 120% restoration, 200% restoration, 400% restoration, 500% restoration. You see, when God restores, it's better than your former position. Somebody stole a sheep and you are still mourning. Oh, my sheep is gone. God says... We catch the thief right now. And in this month of June, anyone who has stolen from you, we arrest them in the name of Jesus. And I declare a total restoration. I declare 400% whatever you have missed. You stole the sheep. He said, give him four instead of one. Now you stole a bigger animal called oxen. He said, give him 500%. Somebody five times. Whatever you have lost is coming. If your faith can carry it, 500% is coming. Five times, whatever you have lost. So from this scripture, the bigger the loss, the bigger the restoration. Oh, somebody said, but pastor, you don't know about my loss. My loss is colossal. It's big. It's gigantic. Get ready for a big restoration. This month of June, God is going to restore you big time. Something big is coming. Something big. Mighty is coming. Something gigantic is coming. Five 
500 extend restoration. 500. You've done something and you lost money. 500 percent restoration. 500 percent restoration. If that is your portion, like night, let me hear your loud amen tonight. Shout it anywhere you are. I receive five times whatever I've lost. I receive back my ox. I receive back five times whatever the enemy has stolen in my life, in my destiny. Somebody get ready. Five times whatever is in your bank account. Five times whatever is in your bank account. Just multiply whatever is in your bank account by 500. Five times it's coming. It's coming. Restoration. Anything you have lost in this period of COVID-19, get ready for 500% restoration. And finally, case study number five, Proverbs chapter 6, verse 30 to 31. You don't despise Proverbs 6, 30 to 31. You, men don't despise a thief if he's still to satisfy his soul when he's hungry. Verse 31. He said, but if you find a thief, if he be found, he will be made to restore several fold and he shall give all the substance of his house. This is powerful. Now you will see again 700%. He said, when the man is hungry, don't despise him. But when you catch him, whether he's hungry or not, let him restore 700%. Anyone who has stolen glory, honor, blessing, favor, abundance, joy from you, in this month of restoration, we call for seven times, sevenfold return, 700% in the mighty name of Jesus. Now you see from this scripture, you are seeing 120%, 200%, 400%, 500%, 700%. My question to you tonight, Esther Ekbo, what do you want? How, what kind of restoration you want? But there is something, there is a case study number six, hiding in that Proverbs chapter six, verse 31. He said the thief will give 700% what he has stolen and he will give all the substance, that is percentage that cannot be measured, all the substance of his house for touching the property of Joseph. Whoever has touched your heritage, touch the thing that belongs to you, we make a demand for recovery without measure. We make a demand for restoration without measure. We make a demand for restoration without measure. In the mighty name of Jesus, somebody is going to get double. Somebody is going to get five times. Somebody is going to get 700%. I prophesy seven times whatever you have lost. Sevenfold increase. I prophesy sevenfold glory in the mighty name of Jesus. That's your heritage. Seven times whatever you have lost. Seven times glory. Seven times blessing. Seven times honor. Seven times abundance in the mighty name of Jesus. I remember this story. Pastor Deboe told this story many years ago. A woman who worked with one of the top higher institutions in Nigeria. And this woman was due for promotion. But somehow, her boss does not like her face. And this boss will do everything to bring down this woman. The board in charge of promotion recommend this woman for promotion. And the boss kept her file under her table. And somehow, years pass. Years pass. For seven years, no promotion. All of a sudden, the woman prays some fire prayer. Like the one somebody is praying tonight. And the one I am praying for you tonight. Everyone sitting on your promotion, I unseat them by fire. Everyone sitting on your glory, I command the fire of the Holy Ghost to transfer them. I declare the Holy Ghost fire to begin to reign in your office right now. Anyone sitting on, your, on you getting pregnant, today by the fire of the Holy Ghost, I command them to give way. Let the power of God come into your life right now. In the name of Jesus. Somehow, the power of God moved into operation. This woman went for a fire service. Pray fire prayer like the one you are praying tonight. Praying in tongues severally. And this wicked voice was transferred. Don't forget, for seven years, this woman was in the same position. All the people they started together, they moved on. Promoted. Increased. They, they already changed level. But this woman, a file has been kept. I declare to someone hearing me tonight, anywhere they kept your glory, they kept your favor, they kept your joy, they kept your increase, they kept your abundance, they kept your open door. Tonight, I command the fire of the Holy Ghost to go there right now. I unseat every power sitting on your glory. 
And I declare that your glory will shine. This is your night of recovery. This is your night of restoration. In the mighty name of Jesus. And this woman, after seven years, pray an awesome fire prayer. Like the one some of you, you are praying right now. I'm seeing your fire icon right now. Holy Ghost fire. Everyone sitting on your glory. I command right now that fire will begin to answer in the camp of the wicked. Every boss who says, I don't like your faith. Or until you do this for me before I do this for you. Or until you join our cabal. <laughs> join our court. Before you get to this level. Right now, let the fire of the Holy Ghost answer in the camp of the wicked. And I transfer wicked bosses. I transfer ungodly bosses. I give them an, un <laughs> an assignment right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. And I declare to someone hearing me tonight. This is your season of promotion. This is your season of recovery. This is your season of restoration. In the mighty name of Jesus. We transfer wicked boss. In the mighty name of Jesus. Anyone sitting on your promotion. Seven years. Sat on this woman. Wickedness under the sun. That's why the Bible says the habitation of this earth, they are, I mean, the, the, the dark places of the earth, they are full of the habitation of cruelty. Dark places of this earth, full of wicked men and wicked women. And somehow, the wicked boss was transferred. Whosoever is disturbing your life will transfer them. Some of them tonight, they will die in the order of Palataya. I prophesy tonight, anyone who will not allow your total restoration, 700% you prophesy. Anyone that says no, it will not happen, they will give way. They will give way by fire if they fail to repent tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. And somehow when this wicked boss was transferred, a new boss came to the seat. And the new boss, is time for promotion. He didn't know about anything. When it's time for promotion, everybody working with the boss in his department, he saw their file. He promoted them as recommended by the appraiser. Then he got concerned. There is a woman who is there and somehow they can't find a file. The last time they recommended her for promotion was seven years ago. Every other promotion, this man kept under the, the, the file. She's doing well on the job, but she's not making progress. The man kept it under the drawer, under the drawer. And all of a sudden, this man says, where is this woman's file? They search at me. Search file, you can't file anything at me. Listen to me. There are certain things can can never discover. <laughs> when we talk about the arrow that flyer by day, scan will discover it. No. No. I have told you before. You can't use Panadol extra for arrow. He said, ah, my head is aching. My head is aching. If it is arrow, if you use Panadol extra, it will not work. Because you are, you are facing an invisible warfare. Satanic attack. Attack from home. <laughs> so they can't find the file in HR. They can't find the file in Admi. And they look everywhere. Finally, the new boss found the file in the office. And the last time that woman was promoted was seven years ago. Every other promotion. Once they do appraisal and they say, do for promotion. Uh, we hereby recommend for promotion. The man he will file it under his table. The new boss now look at this woman and said, what? You mean you'll be on this level for seven years? Getting salary seven years ago? I don't know who you had tonight. I want you to look at me. Tonight, I declare the word of God to you. If you have not been promoted for a long time, no increase for a long time, this is your month of promotion. And it's not just promotion, it is promotion, restoration with compensation. Is somebody saying that with me tonight? I, I make a demand to heaven this month of June. Restoration with compensation. You know, once you cross 100%, it's no longer restoration. It is restoration plus something. 120% restoration plus 20. 200 restoration plus 100. 400 restoration from 300. So we make a demand tonight. Restoration plus compensation. The man now said, I hereby bring all the promotion. Maybe she was on level 7 before. All her mates are now on 13. They promote, it, they promote this woman to the level that is due for her and they backdate it to 7 years ago. She started getting salary of 7 years ago in her current year. It's coming for you. You know when I talk about 7 fold, 7 fold increase. All around increased. All around turn around. 
sevenfold turnaround is coming for you all around in the mighty name of this woman God seven times seven years suffering ended in one day but it didn't just end you know when God restored don't forget what I'm trying to analyze here when God restored it is always total in full and better than your former position this woman got seven years salary in one year seven year increase is coming seven fold restoration is coming 500 fold restoration is coming. It depends on the one your faith can carry. I have told you what do you want tonight. 120 is available. 200 is available. 400 is available. 500 is available. 700 is available. Then there is an unlimited restoration. Powerful, full, total, complete restoration. Clinical need. And God restore that woman. Anyone hearing me tonight, something has been stolen from you, this is your service of restoration. It's going to be total, full restoration plus compensation for you in the mighty name of Jesus. So get ready for better job. Get ready for better opportunity. Get ready for better relationship. Oh, somebody walked out of your life and you are sad. Don't worry. This month of June, somebody better is coming. Have you heard about sevenfold husband before? In fact, I have the anointing tonight to prophesy sevenfold restoration into your life. Whatever you have lost, you are getting seven times that thing. Have you heard about sevenfold husband before? No, I'm not saying you are going to have seven men. But sevenfold husband is one husband like seven men. Yoruba got it right. But they called them, they said, when they see a man who is performing, they say, oh, Kurimeta. This is three man in one man. Sevenfold husband. Singles hearing me tonight. You are going to catch a big fish. It's called sevenfold husband. Sevenfold man. Man like seven man. One man like seven men. Pastor Deboye, mother prayed for him. He said, when you call one, a thousand will answer. It means one man will command a troop of a thousand. Today, Pastor Deboye command millions of sons and daughters all over the world. If Pastor Deboye tells some of us not to eat, we are not going to eat. If Pastor Deboye say we are fasting, we are going to fast, we must obey our tenera. When you call one, a thousand will answer. You're going to enter into a realm of sevenfold increase, sevenfold turn around, sevenfold joy, sevenfold job, seven times better than your current job. I think that's a prayer point. I receive my sevenfold job. I receive my sevenfold relationship. I receive my sevenfold husband. I receive my sevenfold wife. I receive my sevenfold soundness of health. I receive my sevenfold children. I receive my sevenfold child. Somebody say, Pastor, I lost somebody. This man was too much for me. Get ready for a sevenfold helper. Sevenfold replacement. Man or woman who is going to be of help to you that you wouldn't miss your father that you lost. A father figure that will come into your life with spiritual, material, he will be loaded, he will help you. Sevenfold helper. Sevenfold restoration is what I prophesy into your life tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. So if you have lost anything to COVID-19, you lost time, you lost resources, you've lost customers, businessmen and women, some customers are not coming right now, don't worry, sevenfold. See, I am not afraid as a church. I'm ministering from the church premises, church auditorium tonight. And we don't have the church members. Lagos State says, okay, we have to re-register as a church, some regulation, protocols for church to come back. We don't worry about that. When it's time for church to gather, the people of God will gather again. The people of God will come to church again. The church of God will flow with people again. People will serve God again. So don't get, don't get agitated. When will my customer get back? When will my business get back to the to, 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 on, on course? The Lord said, I should tell you, this month of June is your month of restoration. And it's not the restoration of men. It's not the restoration of PACM. 
It is the restoration of God. It is his restoration. This is your month of his restoration. I, Jehovah, will restore. The years the locusts had eaten. So you have lost time, lost resources, lost customers, lost projects. You have even lost your contract. Because of the nature of your job, is contract. They say, no, your services are no longer required. This month, the Lord will restore. Something great is on the way. After this service, I'm going to be hearing glorious testimony. I'm going to be hearing testimony of increase, testimony of joy, testimony of open doors, testimony of abundance in the mighty name of Jesus. I prophesy sevenfold job right now. I prophesy sevenfold increase right now. I prophesy sevenfold open door. I prophesy sevenfold children. I prophesy sevenfold, sevenfold abundance. I prophesy sevenfold relationship, sevenfold husband, sevenfold wife into your life, into your destiny, sevenfold business in the mighty name of Jesus. And that verse 25 did not stop there. What a prophetic night. He said, I will restore to you the years the locusts had eaten. Locusts represent the enemy. Tonight, get ready for restoration. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, I declare restoration tonight. Whatever the enemy has taken, restoration tonight. We catch the thief tonight and we demand sevenfold. We demand you pay with all the substance in your house. In the mighty name of Jesus. Satan, you have messed up with the wrong person. This lady that you have abused, you have messed up with. Tonight, I declare total restoration. Restoration in your life. Restoration in your destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus. I declare to somebody, your job is being restored. Your business is being restored. Your finances is being restored. Your economy is being restored. In the mighty name of Jesus. And verse 26 now. Joel chapter 2, verse 26. Powerful scripture. Joel 2, 26. He said, and you will eat in plenty. Is somebody saying amen to that? This month of June, you will eat in plenty. Scarcity is over. Famine is over. Lack is over. You will eat in plenty and be satisfied. Mark the word plenty. The next word there is satisfied. Get ready for satisfaction. You know, in a service like this, I told you it's a prophetic service. All you need to do is begin to shout and receive it. When you hear a word that looks like your own, jump into the river, a river and declare, I receive it. Satisfaction is coming. Increase is coming. Overflow is coming. In the name of Jesus, I receive it. I receive surplus. He said, you will eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord who has dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. My God, I received this verse 26. You will eat in plenty. So first word in 26 is plenty. Mark the word plenty. Next word, and be satisfied. Plenty, no more scarcity. I declare to you watching me tonight, family is over. In the name of Jesus, family is over. Oluwase, family is over. Vic e. Nelson, family is over. Taiwo from Ibado, family is over. Adeleke Adebikwe, family is over. Samson, Ogudimu, family is over. In your life, in your destiny, the famine is over. The scarcity is over. Shino, the scarcity is over. Blessing, the famine is over. The lack is over. You won't look for money again. From today, I declare money will look for you. Increase will look for you. Joy will look for you. Come on, somebody shout, I receive it. I receive it into my life. I receive it. I enter into my season of surplus. Larry, this is your season of surplus. I prophesy this season as the season of overflow for you. The season of increase. Your season of abundance. Your season of celebration. No more loss. No more, no more scarcity. In the mighty name of Jesus. This is your season of plenty. In the name of Jesus. My people will eat in plenty. And next thing he said, and they shall be satisfied. You will get job that will bring satisfaction. Whatever you are doing right now that is not giving you joy, giving you hope. This month of June, you'll be satisfied. Job satisfaction. Maybe you are in a role where you are not happy. You are an accountant doing the job of a secretary. This month, the Lord will bring satisfaction. It will put you where you belong. You work in a bank and you're a teller and you're a professional and you desire to work in the internal control or the audit department. This month, I prophesy satisfaction. My people will eat in plenty and they will be satisfied. 
And the next thing in that verse 26, remember, plenty, satisfaction. Next thing is that he said, and they will praise the name of the Lord their God who has dealt wondrously with them. Praise is coming back to your mouth. Praise is coming back to your life. This month you will praise God. You can also say this is my month of satisfaction. This is my month of plenty. This is my month of praise. They will be eating plenty. They will be satisfied. And they will praise the name of their God. And the next thing is the God who has dealt wondrously with them. That's testimony. May God deal with you wondrously. Whereby any time we come to church, you can't even wait for us to come to church. Pastor, I have a testimony. Pastor, please read my testimony. Let somebody be encouraged. Pastor, I'm pregnant. Pastor, something great is happening. Be restored in the name of Jesus. Sevenfold restoration in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, who has dealt wondrously with you? Testimony. So we move from plenty to satisfaction to praise and now testimony. You will praise the name of your God who has dealt wondrously with you. Testimony. And what else in that verse? He said, and my people shall never be ashamed in your life no more shame somebody hearing me no more ridicule the last shame and defeat you suffer will be the last forever you will not suffer any shame again in your life no more ridicule no more pain no more disappointment in the mighty name of jesus you will praise the name of your god who has dealt wondrously with you so these five things and i think there's something there's something more he said and my people shall never be ashamed that is honor. That is honor. After COVID-19 is honor. You have heard me say that severally. I will not stop saying it until I see honor in your life. I will not stop saying it until I see glory in your life. After COVID-19 is honor, is glory, is plenty. So see these five things you are going to see this month. Plenty, satisfaction, praise, testimony, honor. You say that with me with a loud voice. Plenty, satisfaction, praise, testimony, honor. Plenty, satisfaction, praise, testimony, honor. Plenty, satisfaction, praise, testimony, honor. That's my heritage. No devil can stop this from happening. You're going to be satisfied this month. You're going to swim in plenty this month. You're going to praise God this month. You're going to have testimony this month. Honor is your portion. You will never be ashamed. No ridicule. No shame. No disappointment in the name of Jesus. When God restores, it's better than your position before the peril. When God restores, it's total, it's full, it's complete. Please know tonight, God's restoration is quality and quantity. It's not just quantity, it's also qualitative. God is interested in the numbers. He will restore quantity. He also wants to restore quality. What does that mean? God can restore life and non-life. <laughs> Is the pastor talking like an insurance person tonight? Yeah, that's the God we serve. He can restore animate and inanimate. God's restoration is both quantitative and qualitative. Let's take quantitative first. Quantity. At the gate of Samaria, 2 Kings chapter 7, verse 1. At the gate of Samaria, they've been without food. If you read chapter 6, 2 Kings chapter 6, there was no food in Samaria. In fact, they got to a point where they ate their children for food. And one woman cried to the king. And the king says, Am I God? And the king tore his robe. And all of a sudden, Elisha appeared. And the man of God, remember, the famine was severe to an extent where they killed their children for food. And the man of God appeared like I am appearing to you tonight. This is a prophetic service. This service will turn your life around. There will be a change in your life, a change in your destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus. The word I speak to you, their spirit and their life. This word will envelop you. Sevenfold job is coming. Sevenfold husband is coming. Sevenfold children is coming. Children like no other. It's coming into your life, coming into your destiny. And Elisha appeared and said, by this time tomorrow, a measure of flour, fine flour, shall be sold for a shekel. And two measures of barley shall be sold for a shekel. By this time tomorrow, by this time tomorrow, your status has changed. 
By this time tomorrow, there is a movement upward. By this time tomorrow, you will not be jobless. By this time tomorrow, no more sickness in your body. In fact, as I speak right now, I command that sickness to evaporate. Die instantly. In the name of Jesus, check your body right now. Healing in your body. In the mighty name of Jesus, every doctor's report, negative doctor report, I command you to catch fire. By this time tomorrow, a measure of five flowers shall be sold for a shekel. And two measures of barley shall be sold for a shekel. Let me bring that home. That is like, for those of you who are into international trade, today dollar is 460 or 450 to Nigerian uh, Naira to a dollar. And I come to you in my office as a prophet and say, by this time tomorrow, dollar will be one Naira. I'm sure somebody will doubt. That's what happened. The minister of planning and uh, budget, he said, even if God opened the windows of heaven, Please, if you want to abuse God, do it in the corner without opening your mouth. Don't do it to his face. And there's something about the windows of heaven where God pour financial blessing, where God pour increase. That is the kind of heaven that we talked about in Malachi. I will open the windows of heaven. The man said, even if God opened the windows of heaven, it cannot happen. And the man of God said, you will see it, but you will not eat it. Do you know the food were not sold for a shekel? They were sold for free. What God was trying to communicate is that by prophetic order, people can be restored to a point where you will, you will never imagine you ever suffer. Somebody, the end of 2020 will be like there was no COVID-19 in this year. This does not make economic sense. This is not average sense. This is not what United Nations is saying. This is not what bank is saying. Everybody is saying borrow. Everybody is saying release money to the economy. Everybody, Nigeria government is borrowing. Americans are borrowing. Everybody is borrowing as we speak right now. But hear you the word of the Lord. By this time, end of this year, you will be jubilating. The five things I talk about tonight will not be short in your life. There will be plenty. There will be satisfaction. There will be praise. There will be testimony. And there will be honor in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. By this time tomorrow, food will be cheap. Food will be surplus. And they will be cheap. That is the summary of Elijah prophecy. By this time tomorrow, food will be available and they will be cheap. They got food for free. Everybody just took as much as they want. They took until they were tired. And the man who said it, this cannot happen, he was shocked to his marrow. He saw it and according to the word of prophecy, he did not eat out of it. When prophetic word go out, it's two-edged sword. It's for a blessing of many and it's for a destruction of many. This month I prophesy. The word restoration, re restoration will envelop you and it will bring back restoration into your life. Increase into your life. Joy into your life. Testimony into your life. Honor into your life. And in the other side, anyone who says it won't happen, the double-edged sword will attack them. They will go down. They will be transferred. And anyone who says over my dead body, they will die according to their declaration. In the mighty name of Jesus. This is your season of restoration. I have told you about how God can compensate after restoring. We have seen different level of compensation. That is going to be your experience as your faith can carry. 700% whatever I have lost. That is the demand I make tonight for you. That is the demand I prophesy into your life tonight. Pray in tongues anywhere you are this evening. I receive my heritage. Pray in tongues. I want to see your fire icon. I receive my blessing. By this time tomorrow, no more suffering in your life. Somebody, a phone call will come through that will change your life forever. Pray in the Holy Ghost right now. Every word prophesied tonight I receive into my life. There is a change in the economy. A change in the economy of the nations of the world. Blessing, promotion, increase like I've never seen before. Joy unspeakable, full of glory. That's my heritage. That's my portion. Pray in tongues right now. Every word prophesied tonight. I receive my portion. I receive my heritage. Stagnation is over. Scarcity is over. 
No more barrenness. No more shame. No more reproach. Whatever I lay my hand upon shall prosper. The five things the pastor talked about tonight. This is the time to prophesy them into your life. I prophesy plenty. Satisfaction. Praise. Testimony. I prophesy honor. The glory of God is upon my life. Restoration. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now, I'm going to end this service. Let them keep coming. Keep praying. Pray in tongues anywhere you are. That's your heritage. Everything I prophesy about tonight, receive your portion. All I want you to shout, just share, I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. Tonight, by a prophetic order, all through this month of June, you will see plenty. You will see surplus. You will see abundance. You will see open door. You will see new job. New opportunity. I prophesy glory to over, uh, overwhelm you. I prophesy glory to overshadow you. I prophesy plenty into your life. I prophesy satisfaction. Whatever is not giving you joy. This month of June, receive your satisfaction right now. I prophesy praise. You will praise God this month. Something to praise about will happen. There will be an application of praise. You will look at your turnover and you will be dancing. <laughs> dancing for joy. Praise is coming. You will testify. There's something to shout about. This month of June, my testimony. My testimony. The long awaited testimony <laughs> will happen this month in the name of Jesus. And finally, this month, oh no. Oh no, 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 no. You will win an award in your place of work, you will win global award, international recognition. Those who have eaten your fire, they will be transferred. I transfer them by fire. They will run into ESCC problem because they are corrupt. We chase them away from that office. Anyone hiding your glory, pressing down your glory, we command them out by the power of the Holy Ghost. Right now, as I speak the word, they are being troubled. Your picture is appearing to them in their dream. They are being troubled. Why are, they, why are you troubling Israel? Why are you troubling a child of God? Ezekiel said, I prophesy. Palatiah died. Tonight, evil do I leave the office. Live or you die. This prophet will appear to you. Live or you die. Leave the child of God alone. Leave, leave, leave this child of God alone. I minister to you life right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. I command wounds to open. Strength to come. Anyone sick in his body right now, receive strength. Receive your healing. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, that's, that's, that's awesome. I didn't even plan to do that, but that's not part of the script. Uh, but let's go back to the script. <laughs> now, when God restores, He restores quantity and quality. I've just given you an example of quantitative restoration. Scarcity. No food. No money. Famine in the land. And God gave them qu quantity. Food more than enough. And it came by the instrumentality of four lepers. Help from unbelievable socks. This month of June, please don't look down on anybody. Children can give you a link to your inheritance. Ladies can give you a link to your inheritance. When I say ladies, women, it can come from anyone. Men can give you. Young can give you. Hood can give you. Four lepers brought the surplus. Help is coming for you. Honor is coming for you. Somebody who will connect you to the kind of job that will give you satisfaction. Praise. Then you begin to praise God. Then you say, I have a testimony. Then you say, plenty has come. In the name of Jesus. No more ridicule. You won't stand by bus stop to read paper at 10 a.m. again. Because a new job is coming. Good one at that. The mighty name of Jesus. Somebody who, whose hope is down. Whose faith is down. Today I declare restoration. I declare your joy to surge again. Life to come to you. Say, but pastor, I'm 35. I'm 32. I'm not married. Life to come again. I'm above 40. I'm not married. 
life to come again. You are restored. You are restored. And when God restores, it's better than the position before the restoration. The position before the query. So that's that. I think I don't want to do more about the quantitative restoration. Let's talk about quality restoration. Then we close the service and take communion with that. Quality restoration. It can come. I put down four things in my note here. God wants to restore time. Number two, God wants to restore divine health to your body. God, no, number three, God wants to restore your mind. Offshoot of divine health. In fact, I'll take mind before divine health. Then number four, God wants to restore life to you. Let's look at one. Quality restoration. Now, when I say quality restoration, these are things money cannot buy. They are non-quantitative. You can't quantify it. And number one there is time. What money can buy. But Joel chapter 2, 25 says, I will restore to you the years. Before he talked about locusts, before he talked about canker worm, he said, I will restore time. So anyone hearing me tonight, wasted years have been restored. The years you have lost to the locusts, the years you have been playful. Do you know as a sinner, every year you spend as a sinner, they are wasted years. Paul was supposed to be a man of God, but as a sinner, he was persecuting the church, killing people, murderer. Wasted years. God said to me to tell you tonight, he's going to restore your wasted years. The time you have lost, will be restored. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 16, he said you need to redeem the time for the days are evil. Whatever years you have lost, there will be restoration. The Lord said, I should tell someone tonight, you will catch up. Those who have gone ahead of you, you will catch up. When they came to destroy David's house, took away the wife, took away his children, in 1 Samuel chapter 30 verse 8, Bible said, David, 1 Samuel 38, David inquired of the law, can I pursue? Will I overtake them? And the Bible said, God said to him, pursue. Without fail, recover her. I speak to someone hearing me tonight, you are going to catch up. There will be total recovery. Without fail, recover her. I will restore to you the years. So, number one, God is going to restore wasted years. The time you have lost during this COVID-19, there are people who have not worked from March till date because the nature of their job is contract. God says, I'm going to restore wasted years, wasted months, wasted period. You have no hand resources, turnover has gone down, you will be restored. This is your month of restoration. This is your season of restoration. I've told you somebody is going to span the young June. Restoration will continue because you'll be getting it 100% plus compensation. 100% plus 600%. Sevenfold restoration. In the mighty name of Jesus. Number two, quality, quality restoration is your mind. God wants to restore your mind. Psalm 23, verse 3. Verse 2 says, He put me beside the still water. And verse 3, Psalm 23, verse 3. Now, He restore my soul. God wants to restore. And you know your mind is the center of your soul. When the mind goes north, when the mind is not working, the mind is not coordinated. I could speak to you right now because my mind is sending signal to my mouth to speak. And I'm coordinated because my mind is sound. Listen to me. God wants to restore your soul. And somebody hearing me will read things and you forget. You don't even remember the things you read. You want to say something you can't remember. You, you, are, you, you, you always suffer memory loss. I declare restoration this month. God wants to restore your mind. Money can't buy that. Ogusoye has not worked for many years. You know, you've been taking Ogusoye for many years. It does not work. Why do they call Ogusoye in English now? Those of you on Facebook and on YouTube, what is Ogusoye? Those of you from West Africa, Nigeria, you know what I'm talking about, uh, the Yoruba tribe. Somebody in America needs to be help, helped because he says, um, what did the pastor just say now? Ogunsoi, what's Ogunsoi? I don't know, I don't know it myself. That's why I can't say it in English. But I know people are watching and I'll look at when they give me the English. Lanrey, please come to the rescue. Pastor Lanrey, what is Ogunsoi in English? 
uh, Vera. Vera, you helped me with a botanical name of Odere Koko the other day. This is now your, your grammar is put to test again. Anyway, I have to move on. But when I get it, those of you in Atlanta and uh, all over the world, I'll tell you the meaning of that uh, vernacular I've just uh, mentioned. God wants to restore your mind. He wants your mind to be sound. Remember 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 16 says, I have the mind of Christ. 2 Timothy 1, 7, God has not given us the spirit of fear, but the power of love and of a sound mind. My mind is sound. I remember the things I read. Whatever I want to say, I don't miss it. I'm always spot on. I don't forget things. I'm sound in my mind. My memory is sound. The restoration in my mind. In the mighty name of Jesus. Esther, but I'm also told me that Ogunsoye is retention memory charm. Carry. <laughs> retention memory charm. So those of you in America, it's called retention memory charm. That is the only one I can get for now. Number three. God wants to restore your health. He wants to restore your health. Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 17. I'm going to read that. I'm going to wind down this service right now. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 17. Is somebody getting something in this house? Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 17. Thank you, Lord. Jeremiah 30, 17. I will restore health unto you and heal you of your wound, say the Lord, because they called you an outcast, saying, this is Zion. Whom no man seeketh after. But the powerful part is that A part. I will restore health to you. I will heal your wound. God says this month, I'm going to restore health to you. Somebody hearing me tonight, no more health challenge. Rest has come in the name of Jesus. I like to read a very powerful scripture. I like this scripture. As I prepare for this message, I stumble on it again. Job chapter 33, 24. To 25. Job 33, 24 to 25. Remember Job? His body was full of sore, full of boy. He was badly affected. The devil took away quantity and quality from Job. Took his health quality. Took his possession. Took his children quality. He took their life. And something happened. Job 33, 24 to 25. Then he is gracious unto him. I pray for you that will be your heritage. This month, God will be gracious to you. He will deliver you from going down to the pit. You will not die. Somebody say amen to that. You will live to declare the word of God. You will not go down. Your destiny will not go down. He said, because I have found a ransom for him. His flesh, that is what I like. His flesh shall be fresher than that of a child and he shall return to the days of his youth. His flesh shall be fresher than that of a child. When a man who has boiled and there is no trace, I told you when God restores his clinical. Clean, neat, no sign. Total, complete, with compensation. His flesh shall be fresher. Uh, his flesh shall be fresher than a child. How can that be? 70 year old, now looking like Five years old, his flesh shall be fresher than the child. And he will be restored to the days of his youth. Now his 70 strength has come. Somebody you have been praying, Lord, restore to me my strength, my, the strength of my youth. Now the things you used to do in your early 20s, you can no longer do it. In this month of restoration, receive strength. Receive strength, unusual strength to cover ground. To do great things in life. In the mighty name of Jesus. As you hear me tonight, your health is restored. In your life, I cause fibroids. I cause that problem in your eyes that gets you, your eye blow all the time. No more pain. No more back pain. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your health is restored by the power of the Holy Ghost. And finally tonight, quality thing God wants to restore is life. Under this, God wants to restore to you people you have lost. He said, Pastor, is that possible? My husband is dead. Pastor, is that possible? My father is dead. 
God is going to bring quality men to you. I've told you before, one man that looks like seven men. One man that will replace your husband sevenfold. So, Pastor, is that possible? It's very possible from the word of God. The Bible says the thief come, John 10, 10, to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I came that they may have life and have it more. God can restore life. In John chapter 11, Lazarus was dealt for four days and restored life. Whatever you have lost to the enemy, you have lost a relationship. Somebody walk out of your life. Somebody else is coming. It will be seven times better than the person who walk out of your life. I declare to you this is your season of restoration. This is my submission tonight. Anywhere you are, lift up your voice. Prophesy restoration right now. Declare it. Make a demand. Quantity and quality. I want my money back. I want my life back. I want my joy back. Somebody shout. Somebody declare. Somebody pray. Somebody shout tonight. I want to see your prayer icon all over the world. Yeah. This is your season of restoration. I am a rodo shaka ya la bada. Elena go da ba ya 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 ya. Barakota ya barada ba 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 da. Le kula barada ba ya da 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 ba 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 Restoration. Restoration. Seven hundred percent. Shalabado. Seven fold. Keke kotele. And the rabaya kokaya no balado. Shako barada. In the mighty name of Jesus. Restoration is coming. Your job is being restored. Your glory is being restored. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. It's coming to your living room. Your health is being restored. Your mind is being restored. Your joy is being restored. Somebody demand restoration with compensation. Not just to the position where I were before. It's restoration with something on top. 600%. Plus my principal. Restoration with compensation is our demand tonight. Pray in the Holy Ghost and make a demand to heaven. Shout it. I receive it all over the world. And those five things I prophesy, shout it, it's my portion. I declare restoration right now. Plenty. Restoration, satisfaction. I declare praise. I declare testimony. It's a long time you have given testimony. It's time to give testimony again. Honor has come. Glory has come. Favor has come. In the mighty name of Jesus. This is your night of restoration. Yes. It's your season of restoration. Your mind is restored. You won't forget things again. Never. Health is restored. Joy is restored. Peace is restored. Abundance is restored. Business is restored. Patronage is coming again. <laughs> Shaloko yabarako telebarata. Yes. Restoration with compensation is the demand we make to heaven. Sevenfold restoration in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Receive it right now in the name of Jesus. By this time tomorrow, your story has changed. Good news. Testimony. Joy. Celebration. Abundance. Open door. Increase. Lila kuku harapa ya taya meloko shata labata meloto kobara no more borrowing. My people shall never be ashamed. I command sickness to depart. Whatever is slowing down your productivity, I command them to go right now because this is your month of restoration. This is what the Lord is laying on our heart for this month of June. And it's going to be the season. Of restoration. Glory is coming. Abundance is coming. Health is coming. Favor is coming. Delivery with ease. With celebration. With joy. That's your heritage. In the name of Jesus. Is somebody tonight saying, Pastor, 
Can you please pray for me? Pray with me. What a wonderful message you brought us tonight. I believe the Lord is using you to talk to me, but my ways with God has not been right. I like to move close to God. Anywhere you are, lift up your voice, lift up your hand. I like to pray with you. If you want to move close to Jesus, know Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. Lift up your hand anywhere you are. Say this prayer with me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, have mercy on me. Wash me by your blood. Today I declare Jesus as Lord over my life. I believe you raised him from the dead. I believe Jesus with all of my heart. I declare tonight I'm born again. I'm child of God. No matter the devil. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. I give you all the praise in the name of Jesus. I'd like to pray for you right now. I pray that the Lord preserve you. By your confession, you are saved tonight. You will not go back to your vomits. You serve God to the very end. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. On the screen, you will see the email address of our ministry. I want you to write us. Tell us your name. Give us your details. 